In the previous video, we took quite a look at how the government determines your taxable income. Okay, that's the number that they look at in order to determine how much tax you owe. In this video, we're going to look at that. We're going to look at how do you calculate your federal income tax. That's our objective. Okay, so once we do all that math beforehand, or most people use software to do it, we will come up with a number that the government wants to look at, and that's the number they will calculate your tax on. Well, we know what taxable income is. We just did it. It's the amount of income that you pay tax on. As a reminder, you take the gross income and you make adjustments, but you subtract allowable adjustments, and then you subtract exemptions and deductions, and that comes up with your taxable income. So we're focused on that taxable income. Our tax system is complicated. Okay, our federal tax system is progressive. What that means is the tax rate on the higher amounts of income are taxed at a higher amount, are taxed at a higher rate than the tax rate on lower amounts of income. Okay, so the more dollars you make, those higher dollars have a higher tax rate than your lower dollars. We end up with a lot of what are called tax brackets. So this kind of gets kind of complicated. Let me show you a 2016 chart. And you can see in 2016, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tax brackets. We're going to focus on our single person over here again. And you can see up the first $9,275 are taxed at 10%. The next group of dollars, uh, this is $28,375 between these two, is taxed at 15%. The next group of dollars is taxed at 25%. So as your income increases, the tax the taxes on the higher amounts get larger okay you pay you pay more taxes on these higher amounts okay you can see in this example here's that standard deduction we saw in the previous video and here are the exemptions per person we saw in the previous video four thousand fifty dollars so now i gave a name to this person olivia and we discovered in the previous video that her taxable income is $46,410. We want to calculate her federal income tax, and we're going to use the 2016 tax rates. Okay, so if, let's take go back to our chart. Okay, her income is, let's see, $46,410. She's single. So we're going to go, her, her taxable income falls right in between $37,651 and $91,150. So she's going to pay part of her money at 10%, part of her money at 15%, and part of her money at 25%. We're going to stop at $46,410. Okay? So let's see. The first $92,75 gets taxed at 10%. So here, the number of dollars that are taxed at 10%, 9,275 of her dollars are taxed at 10%. How many of her dollars are taxed at 15%? Well, we're going to take, uh, here's our 15% amount. We're going to take 37,650, and we're going to subtract this one, the highest from the, the previous bracket, because we don't want to lose a dollar. And that'll tell us how many dollars are taxed at 15%. So we're going to take 37,650. We're going to subtract 9275, the, the number from the previous, the high number. And it turns out that 28,375 of her dollars are taxed at 15%. 
Okay, so there's the first 9,000 some odd. There's the next 28,000 some odd. How much is left? Well, she taps her, her income, her taxable income is 46, whoops, 46,410. Okay, so again, we don't go, her taxable income falls between these two. Her taxable income is not 91,000. Her taxable income stops at 46,410. So we're gonna take 46,410 and subtract the high number from the previous tax bracket, 37,650, which is right here. 37,650, whoops. Try to put the comma in the right place. How about right there? Okay, we subtract those two numbers and 8,760 of her dollars are taxed at 25%. Let's check, did we get all of her money taxed? Okay, she has $9,275 that are taxed at 10%. We're gonna add that to 28,375, that's taxed at 15%, here's the progression, and we're going to add that to $8,760 that are taxed at 25%, again, using the 2016 tax rates. Let's add up these three numbers, this one at 10%, this amount at 15%, and this amount at 25%, and I come up with 46,410. Check. We've accounted for all of her dollars. Okay, this is her taxable income. When I add up these amounts, I should have all of her dollars accounted for. So what is her tax amount? Well, her tax amount says she pays 10% of the first 92.75. So 10% times 9275 plus she pays 15% of the next 28,375, plus she pays 25% of the next 80, the final 8,760. Okay, that's her tax amount. Well, of course, we need to change these into their decimal formats or percent or fraction formats to do the math. I'll change them to the decimals. This is 0 0.10 times 92.75 plus 0.15 times 28.375 plus 0.25 times 8,760. Okay, so 10% of this plus 15% of this amount plus 25% of this amount. Again, you can see as the amount of money she earns gets larger, the dollars get up in the higher amounts, they get a higher tax rate applied to them. With the calculator, her tax amount is going to be $7,375, and whoops, $373, I misread my notes, sorry about that, and 75 cents. So the government looked at this number as her taxable income, not at her gross income. It broke it down into categories. The beginning amount, the first 92.75 was only taxed at 10%. The next 28.375 was taxed at 15%. The final 87.60 was taxed at 25%. Okay, that's progressive. We did the math and the amount of tax she owes, $7,373.75. As I have said a few times, our tax process, our federal tax process is complicated. Okay, let's make a couple of comments and uh, a couple of definitions for you on how our tax system works. In the United States, okay, there is no such thing as the tax rate, okay? You'll hear a lot of our politicians, you know, we need to change our tax rate. 
We need to change our tax rates. There's no such thing. Okay. We have two definitions associated with tax rate, a marginal tax rate and an effective tax rate. Okay, so when they say the tax rates are too high, what tax rates are too high? The marginal tax rates or the tax brackets or the effective tax rates? Okay, there's no such thing as simply a tax rate in this country. The marginal tax rate is simply the largest tax rate or the largest tax bracket in which the taxable income falls. Okay, let's go down to here, marginal. Okay, Olivia's tax rate. Okay, here we are. Olivia had taxable income of $46,410, I think. I think that was right, 46,410, yes. She fell, that amount fell in the 25% tax bracket. These are brackets. So her marginal tax rate, in other words, the highest tax bracket she fell into, the largest tax bracket, her marginal tax bracket or marginal tax rate is 25%. Now you'll notice, if you go back to this side, she did not pay 25% on all of her income. She only paid 25% on the final $8,760. She paid 15% on this amount, which was much larger, and she paid only 10% on this amount, which was just a little bit larger. Okay, marginal tax rate is just the highest tax bracket your taxable income falls into. Effective tax rate is a much better measure of how much tax you pay because it's the average tax rate you pay. So again, using example one, Olivia's, okay, what is her effective tax rate? Okay, well, this is her average tax rate paid. Okay, average tax rate equals tax amount divided by taxable income. Her tax amount, we found on the previous page, was 7,300, and I keep going too quickly, $73.75. That was her tax amount. What was her taxable income? Or taxable income was 46 thousand four hundred ten dollars if we do these this math we come up with a 15 around to the tenth of a percent a 15.9 percent effective tax rate in other words if all of her taxable dollars had been taxed the same they would have all been taxed at just about 16 percent notice there is a significant difference here her, her, the final amounts of her money were taxed at 25%, but on average, every dollar was taxed on average at 15.9%. So two very different numbers in a lot of cases based upon two different calculations and the fact that there's no such thing as a tax rate in the U.S. You either look at the marginal tax rate or the effective tax rate. Okay, the final thing I'll point out that you'll see coming up in some problems is what's called a tax credit. Okay, once you've calculated your taxes, if you have a tax credit, this is money that you can subtract from the tax amount. Okay, so here's your tax amount. You can take tax credits away from that. So you get a full dollar for dollar Okay, credit, you get a full dollar for dollar amount when you take away tax credits. So if somebody says you have a tax credit, you do all that math, here's your tax amount, and then you subtract the tax credit. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Tax credits are subtracted from the computed tax, the 73, 73, 75 in this example, to further reduce Again, more can be taken off the federal tax owed. 
So if you have a tax credit, the federal income tax or the amount owed, which again for Libya, 73, 73, 75, I'm sorry, the federal income tax, the amount owed is equal to the computed tax, that amount, sorry about that, minus any tax credit amounts you get. Okay, so there you have it, a lot on taxes. Uh, it is complicated. Uh, this is the reason we have a fair amount of software that works for us, but important to kind of get a basic understanding of what's going on.